The Estonian national football team represents Estonia in international association football. Team members are selected by the head coach of Estonian Football Association. Estonia play their home matches at the Ala Kok Arena in Tallinn, Estonia. Estonia's first match was held against Finland in 1920, being a 6 0 0 defeat. The team participated in the 1924 Olympic Games tournament, their only participation. Estonia have never qualified for the World Cup or European Championship. The team have however reached the Euro 2012 qualifying playoffs, by finishing second in their qualifying group, before being drawn up against Ireland for a playoff tie, making 2011 the Annus Mirabilis of Estonian football. In 1940, Estonia was occupied by the Soviet Union and did not regain independence until 1991. Estonia's first FIFA recognized match as an independent nation after the breakup of the Soviet Union was against Slovenia on June 3, 1992, a 1 1 draw in the Estonian capital city of Tallinn. The record of the most international caps by an Estonian international is held by Martin Rehm who held the European record in 2009 until November of that year. The record of most goals is held by André Zopa. The national team head coach has been Magnus Poussin since December 2013. History, the Republic of Estonia, Estonians were introduced to the game of football by English sailors in the first years of the 20th century, when the land was still part of the Russian Empire. The national team was formed after the War of Independence. It played its first match on October 17, 1920 in Helsinki, Finland which ended in a 6-0-0 defeat. The game took place on a grass surface, which was a first for the Estonians. The Estonian Football Association was founded on December 14, 1921 and affiliated with FIFA in 1923 joining Yugoslavia, Latvia, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Turkey and Uruguay. Estonia's only participation in a major tournament took place in 1924 at the Olympic Games in Paris. Estonians lost their only match in the tournament to the United States won a Euro Zero. The Estonian league season usually lasted from the end of May to September. In 1928 the first Baltic football contest was held involving all three nations, it was held nine times during this period. Four of them were held in Latvia two in Estonia and three in Lithuania. Estonia was particularly notable for winning the edition of the tournament in 1938. In the crucial meeting between them and Latvia at the Kadraru Stadium, 2,000 out of the 12,000 spectators were Latvians. Estonia's first FIFA World Cup qualifying match took place on June 11, 1933 in Stockholm, Sweden. Match ended with Swedish 6 a Euro 2 win. This match was also world's first FIFA World Cup qualifying match. Since later on Sweden also defeated Lithuania, match between Estonia and Lithuania was cancelled, because Sweden had already won the group. Estonia's first points in the FIFA World Cup qualifying rounds were gained in 1938, playing the qualification matches in 1937, the third edition of the tournament. At the time teams would play each other once in each group. Estonia were in Group 1, drawn with Germany, Sweden and Finland. In their first match against Sweden, the team went to a Euro 0 up even before the game reached five minutes of play, only to lose 7 a Euro 2. This was then followed up with a 1 a Euro 0 success against Finland in which Richard Kulmer scored the only goal of the game in the 56th minute. Qualification was completed with a 4 a Euro 1 defeat against Germany, despite a goal from Georg Simonsen taking the teams in at half-time with a 1-0 lead for the Estonians. As a result, Estonia failed to qualify for the World Cup. The team entered the 1934 qualification round which was their first entry, but only played one match being a 6-0-2 loss to Sweden. Their scheduled match against Lithuania was not played as neither team could qualify. The team's biggest win came on July 26, 1928 which was a 6 0 0 success against Lithuania in Tlin. meanwhile their biggest defeat came on August 11, 1922 which was a 10 0 2 loss to Finland. Out of the team's head coaches before the Second World War, seven of them were Hungarian with Antomali taking this position twice. There were four foreign coaches, 
while the first Estonian national team was coached by Albert Volrat in 1932. Coaches also played for several seasons, who also determined the composition of the football association. Players were mostly Interlean clubs, such as TJK, Sport, Karlov and Tallinn Estonia. The Republic's most capped players were goalkeeper Evald Tipner and the outfield players Yuga Einman, Duard Elman Ilma and Karl Rudolf Silberg Silak. Goal scorers were Elman Ilma, Richard Kurma, Arnold Pihelek, Georg Simonsen and Friedrich Kalm, who are still Estonia's all-time top ten. Players received small pay for their contributions a Euro 5 Estonian crowns in 1938. The Baltic tournament victory was 15 euros. On July 18, 1940 the team played their last official game as an independent nation for more than half a century. The game was played at the Kadraru Stadium and was a 2 a Euro 1 victory against Latvia. The occupied years, after Soviet occupation in August 1940, the national team demised alongside with the country. During German occupation, the team was revived and they played two unofficial friendlies, but only few players remained from the pre-war era. When Soviet troops invaded Estonia again, some of the best footballers were mobilized. Some fled to West. Many ex-nationals were in Estonia's team in Gislingen's refugee camp. The clubs were renamed in the second half of 1940s and the tradition started to fade. According to Uno Pai, the first national team manager after Estonia's re-independence, the reason for football's downfall in society was the inability to create a competitive union-level club, hence the decrease in audience and the favouring of other sports by the governing bodies of sports. The Estonian SSR had its representative team but because of the occupation it did not take part of international competitions. Between 1948 and 1976, the Baltic Cup was held 19 times, which the Belarusian SSR won a few times and the Estonian SSR five times. From 1969 to 1982, Estonia was the only Soviet state not participating in the Soviet Union's Football League. During the 1970s, the game lost popularity in Estonia and the sport was mainly played by Russians. Estonian football life was relaunched in mid-70s by the attempts of Roman Urbakivi, who formed Estonian language training groups. The most notable team was La Micron Vid in 1980 Euro 1989, who were coached by Urbakivi and Olav Rehm. Several players, Mart Poom and Martin Rehm among them, became part of the national team later. Not a single Estonian reached the Soviet national team, but two Urbakivi's pupils, Otmar Mikron Tsnik and Tumas Kra Mikromita, broke into the youth team. The Singing Revolution, the pursuit to restore Estonian independence and to cool regional tensions, found its way to football as well. On July 18, 1990, an exhibition match was held between Estonian and Latvian footballers at Kadrag Stadium to remember the last official match between the two teams as independent nations 50 years previously. The principle of assembling the squad was controversial. 63 players made a public address in calling out the football governing bodies to only select the descendants of Estonians, leaving out immigrants who came to Estonia after World War II. Return to international football, citizenship dispute and apprentice years, Estonia regained its independence on August 20, 1991 and then came back to international football when the team debuted in Lithuania's organized Baltic tournament taking place in November. However, FIFA affiliation was not gained until June 3, 1992, with the first recognized match taking place in Tallinn as a friendly against Slovenia. This historic meeting under the guidance of coach Juno Pai was overseen by a team consisting of Mart Poom, Ermas Hebner, Igor Prines, Ermas Kaljend, Mielis Lindma, Tumas Kalaist, Tarmolinia Makaran C.E., Indra Olomets, Martin Rehm, Sergei Ratnikov, Risto Kalaist, Viktor Alonen, Ermas Kurz, Marco Kristal and Alexandr Fuartov. Fuartov was the scorer of the Estonian goal. At that time the composition of the squad was influenced by the country's citizenship policy. There were disputes whether the national team should include players who lived in Estonia but had not acquired Estonian citizenship. Most of those players in question were of Russian origin. 
approximately four months before the first official match against Slovenia FC Flora presented to the Estonian Football Association an ultimatum signed by 25 players which stated that only those who have acquired Estonian citizenship on the basis of legal continuity should be included in the national team. In July of the same year FIFA gave the right to represent Estonia to 97 non-citizens who were according to EFA born in Estonia and were in the process of acquiring Estonian citizenship. In October the board of EFA made a decision that after the 1st April 1993 non-citizens could no more debut in the national team. The citizenship dispute heated up again in February 1993 when Estonia took part in a three-team friendly tournament held in Finland. For the first time, non-citizen players Andre Borisov and Sergei Bragin were allowed to represent Estonia in the national team. In a statement made on February 23 the government of Estonia urged the Estonian Central Sports Union to consider manning Estonian sports teams only with Estonian citizens. On March 11 the local press published an open letter in which the signatories accused EFA and the head coach Uno Pyr of using four alien citizens in games and using Russian as the working language of the national team. The signatories also noted that most of the positions belonging to Estonians were filled with non-citizens. According to Estonian press the EFA had also misled FIFA because most of those 97 players who had gotten the right to represent Estonia had not actually applied for citizenship. On December 5, 1992 the EFA decided to take part in 1994 FIFA World Cup qualification tournament despite financial difficulties, the poor state of the Kadraru Stadium and the inexperience of the national team. Estonia ended the qualification tournament in the last place of the group and with record of one goal scored and 27 conceded. The team lost nine games and drew once against Malta. In the UEFA Euro 1996 qualifying tournament the team was coached by Roman Erbakivi. The qualification tournament ended without a single point and a goals record of three scored and 31 against. The biggest defeats came from abroad against Croatia and Lithuania. From October 14, 1993 to October 5, 1996 Estonia played without a victory for almost three years and by February 1996 the team had sunk to 135 in the FIFA World Rankings. Public interest was at a low. In the autumn of 1994 when Estonia hosted Italy at the Kadraru Stadium only 3,000 people came to watch. The first foreign coach and the results improved. Results improved with the arrival of the newly independent team's first foreign coach, Icelandic Theodor Thordarsson. His first victory was achieved at the fifth attempt in October 1996, when they defeated Belarus at the Kadrag Stadium in a 1998 World Cup qualifier with a goal from Halop Simpson. After the victory over the Belarusians, the Estonian team gained infamy on 9 October 1996 when a match against Scotland had to be rescheduled after the Estonian team failed to turn up for the game. For unclear reasons, the match was rescheduled to be played on neutral ground in Monaco after it was agreed at a FIFA meeting in Scotland on November 7, leading to the rescheduled match to take place on February 11, 1997 ending in a 0-0 draw. Reasons for the original postponement of the game was that the Scottish team trained at the Cadrag the night before, finding the flood lighting inadequate. This matter was raised with the officials who agreed with their concerns. In protest, the Estonians failed to show up, which kicked off only to be stopped seconds later. At the end of qualifying, the Estonians finished fifth in a field of six teams on a total of four points ahead of Belarus. This was the first time the Belarusians finished last in a qualifying campaign, and had a weaker goal difference. Estonia scored four goals and conceded 16. Estonia also entered the qualifying tournament for Euro 2000. This time round the Estonians recorded three wins and two draws in their group, with 15 goals scored and 17 conceded. The team also found themselves in the same group as Scotland, this time losing three a Euro 2 away but drawing 0 a Euro 0 at home. The Estonian magazine Sportita Currency HT placed the 1998 events between the pair in their top 10 sporting events. On March 31, 1999 the Estonians defeated Lithuania to a Euro 1 in Vilnius. Estonia remained a theoretical possibility to qualify for their first major tournament. 
Despite failing to qualify, they still set themselves a then team record of 11 points. Their meeting with Scotland on September 8, 1999 was a 5,000 sellout at the Cadrag, a new stadium and the Dutch period. Head coach Tieta Thordarsson resigned at the end of 1999, leading the Estonian Football Association to look for a new coach. They were taken over this time by Tamo Ra one quarter or one quarter T, who was appointed until autumn 2000, and seen the team through their qualifying group for the 2002 FIFA World Cup. After the departure of Ra one quarter or one quarter T and Lillebeer's two game stint as caretaker manager, the Estonian Football Association made an agreement with Dutch Manano Pidgers. Plans were later set by the Football Association to build a modern football home in Tallinn, which took place in 2000 and construction began outside of the Lilica One Quarter La Railway Line, giving it its original name of the Lilica One Quarter La Stadium. The arena opened on June 2, 2001, ahead of their 2002 World Cup qualifying game against the Netherlands. The 9,300 tickets on sale for the match sold out within six hours. Their campaign for 2002 FIFA World Cup qualification saw two victories over Andorra and two draws with Cyprus, which gave the team a total of eight points in the final table and fourth place with 10 goals scored and 26 against, finishing ahead of those two teams. This was later matched in UEFA Euro 2004 qualifying where they gained two more wins over Andorra and draws with Croatia and Bulgaria. The team's goals record was much more stronger defensively, only conceding six goals in their eight matches while scoring four. Estonia then most successful tournament came in the qualifying rounds for the 2006 FIFA World Cup, under the supervision of Dutchman and assistant coach of Pidgeus Jalgos, after Pidgeus left the post in 2004. Five wins, Two draws and five losses gave them 17 points in their qualification group and fourth place. The team were placed ahead of Latvia, Liechtenstein and Luxembourg. UEFA Euro 2008 qualifying was not as successful, which seen the team finish sixth in a field of seven teams, only ahead of Andorra who were also the only team they recorded wins against and gained a total of seven points. The Estonian FA shortly parted company with Goes in June 2007. Ra one quarter or one quarter please head coach again and the anniversary year. November 2007, saw the approval of a two-year contract for new head coach Tamo Ra one quarter or one quarter T, who had overseen the national team in the 1999 Euro 2000 season, with this being the last time the team last took on an Estonian coach, as Pidges was the first of three foreign coaches between 2000 and 2007. Ra one quarter or one quarter Tlee's main task was in his second term to lead the team through the 2010 World Cup qualifying matches. The team showed volatile form in friendly matches during 2008. In September the Estonians lost 3 a Euro 2 to Belgium in an away qualifying match, but fell to a low ebb after being beaten 7 a Euro 0 by Bosnia also on their travels, and fell to an all-time low of 137th place in the FIFA World Rankings. The first home game of the campaign was a 3 0 0 loss to Spain, the reddening European champions. The team still managed to pick up points during the qualification, which included holding Euro 2008 semi finalists Turkey to a 0 0 0 draw. Further results were a 1 0 0 win over Armenia, and a 2 0 2 draw away from home before the campaign was completed with a 2 0 0 win against the Belgians. The team collected eight points finishing fifth in a group of six. 2009 was declared the 100th anniversary of Estonian football. The final matches for record cap holders Martin Riem and long-standing goalkeeper Mark Poom were held. Sajandi Markar and CNG was the first ever match versus Brazil, who had arrived in Tallinn as the FIFA World Rankings leaders, and also the five times world champion winning one the Euro Zero. Much attention was attracted the day after the international friendly, with the Estonian FA announcing that coach Ra one quarter or one quarter T's contract is to be extended to 2011. Estonia later achieved one of its most famous victories in football history, winning 3 a Euro 1 against 15th placed FIFA rankings team Serbia 3 a Euro 1 on October 8, 2010, away from home in the 2012 European Championship qualifiers. 
The match took place four months after the Serbian team competed in the World Cup. Media attention rose from a 2 a Euro 2 drawn friendly international with Bulgaria. Two days before the friendly match on February 11, 2011, bets were placed by officials regarding the outcome of the match. Suspicion of match manipulation was raised when a Hungarian referee gave four disputable penalties, being equally distributed between the two sides. The same team of officials also took charge of the day before, being an international friendly involving Latvia and Bolivia which ended 2 a Euro 1 in favor of the Latvians and also seen three penalties awarded in the game, which were also all of the goals scored. The Estonian team later got an important victory in their next match, which was on March 25 at the A. Le Coq Arena over Uruguay in a friendly match. Uruguay recently reached the semi-finals of the 2010 World Cup, have been double world champions, double Olympic champions and were sitting at 7th place in the FIFA rankings at the time of the 2 Euro 0 victory. The captain Rayo Piaroja earned his 100th international cap. On March 29, the good performances later continued with a 1 a Euro 1 home draw against Serbia. This was followed by a period of poor form, which began with an unofficial friendly game loss to the Basque country qualifying defeats to Italy and the Faroe Islands then later followed, before a tour of South America seen the team lose to Chile and Uruguay. A 3 Euro 0 loss to Turkey in Istanbul then completed their friendly matches cycle before qualifying resumed. However, the Sinisa currency RGID won away from home to Slovenia and at home to Northern Ireland, which lifted the team to 58th in the FIFA rankings giving them their best position to date. This win completed their group matches in the Euro 2012 qualifying campaign. The regular qualification phase for the Euro 2012 tournament was completed with a win in the final game away to Northern Ireland, as once again maintained their possibility of reaching the playoffs and indeed a top two spot in a qualifying campaign for the very first time. The Estonian team knew that this would become reality if Serbia did not win their final group match against Slovenia. Thanks to a first-half goal by Devra and a penalty miss by Serbia's Nemanja Vidya, Estonia shocked the football world by clinching a playoff berth despite losing to a Euro 0 to the Ukraine in a home friendly at the same time. During this phase of the qualifying, Estonia won five matches while losing four and drawing one. They also scored 15 goals while conceding 14 giving them their first ever positive goal difference. They also picked up 16 points their most ever in a single qualifying round with a possible 30 on offer. A few days later, the team learnt that their playoff opposition would be Ireland with the first leg and to lean. Estonia lost the home game 0 a Euro 4 but managed to win a Euro 1 draw abroad. On June 5, 2012, Estonia set a record for being the first team to have played all of UEFA fellow 52 members. The record was lost when Gibraltar was accepted as a full UEFA member in May 2013. The record is regained in March 2014, when the two met in a friendly in Gibraltar. Tournament records, Olympic Games Estonia's only participation in a tournament was the 1924 Summer Olympics in Paris, where the team lost 1 a Euro 0 to the United States. The team were coached by Hungarian Ferenc Kanaya also being their first ever manager. The Americans scored the only goal of the game in the 15th minute, being a penalty by Andy Straden. The Estonians were also given a penalty, only for Elmer Kaljot's effort to hit the crossbar in the 68th minute. After the defeat to the Americans, the Estonian Olympic team stayed on in Paris for three weeks, playing a friendly match with Ireland, and went to competing in Germany and the Netherlands. World Cup record 1930 a Euro did not enter, 1934 to 1938 a Euro did not qualify, 1950 to 1990 a Euro was part of USSR, 1994 to 2010 a Euro did not qualify, European Championship record, 1960 to 1992 a Euro was part of USSR, 1996 to 2012 a Euro did not qualify, Estonia's key games during their independence are as follows, time, place. Opponent, First World Cup qualification game, June 11, 1933, Stockholm, Sweden. First World Cup victory and also first away win, 
August 19, 1937, to Aku, Finland. First European Championship qualifying game, September 4, 1994, Tallinn, Croatia. First World Cup victory since return to independence, October 5, 1996, Tallinn, Belarus. First European Championship victory, June 4, 1998, Tallinn, Faroe Islands. First away win in the European Championship, March 31, 1999, Vilnius, Lithuania. Stadium. All home games since 2001 have been played in Tallinn at the A. Lecoq Arena, capacity is 9,692. With extra seats being installed it can hold 11,000. The stadium borrows its name from its sponsor being a major Estonian beer. The stadium was opened on June 2, 2001, for the sold-out World Cup qualifier versus the Netherlands. This is also Estonia's largest football stadium. A La Coq Arena is also the home of FC Flora Tallinn. Their previous home ground was the Kadraru Stadium, which opened in June 1926 with a 3 Euro 1 victory over Lithuania. The Kadrug holds 5,000 seats and in contrast to the A La Coq Arena, stages athletics events on a regular basis. Estonia have also staged friendly matches away from Tallinn in KOHTLA Jar Currency RVE, Kurasar, Narva, Par Currency RNU, Tuchu, Valka and Biljandi. Home record, as of June 7, 2014, kit, the kit of the Estonian national team traditionally consists of a blue shirt, black shorts and white socks, while a change strip, is that of a white shirt, black shorts and blue socks. Before 1996, other color combinations have been used. The goalkeeper usually wears a yellow jersey, black shorts and yellow socks. The kit design changes every two years to a new one. Since 1997 the team's supplier has been Nike, while between 1992 and 1997 it was supplied by Lotto. Below is a timeline of how the home kit colors have changed through time, supporters. Estonia's main supporters group of that of the Jalgpali Hegla, with over 600 members. The group is committed to deal with all of your supporters' issues from ticket distribution in a special fan section, and also with the fans as watchdogs for relations with the Estonian Football Association and their clubs. Home games see the group as the most vocal, situated in the southern section of the A. La Coq Arena. A busy away journey took place in October 2007, when at Wembley Stadium for the European Championship qualifier with England a crowd of 2,000 Estonian fans were in attendance. A large number of away fans have visited Tallinn. In 1938 which was the decisive meeting of the Baltic Cup tournament hosts and Latvia, a total of 12,000 spectators gathered at the Kadrag Stadium of which 2,000 Latvians. In 2009 1,700 supporters of Bosnia and Herzegovina were at the A. La Coq Arena. Recent results and upcoming fixtures, recent results within the last 12 months and upcoming fixtures. Source, Estonian Football Association, UEFA Euro 2016 qualifying. Players, current squad, the following players were called up for the friendly match against Tajikistan on June 7, 2014. Caps and goals are correct as of June 7, 2014. Players withdrawn before the match are excluded. Recent call-ups. The following players have been called up within the last 12 months. Retired players not included. Coaching staff, player statistics, manager statistics, all-time team record. The following table shows Estonia's all-time international record, correct as of June 7, 2014. See also, category, seasons in Estonian football, list of Estonian international footballers, references. External links. Estonian Football Association official site, Estonian Football Association at FIFA official site, Estonian Football Association at UEFA official site, RSSSF archive of results 1920 Euro, RSSSF archive of most capped players and highest goal scorers, Estonia national team matches, Estonia national team matches 1920 Euro 1940.